Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth. Welcome back to the channel that hates stupidity, but loves the stupid shit the Flat Earthers keep saying in my comments section. Yes, even though I purposely made a point in Flirt Say What episode 1 to say how when a Flirt watches, downvotes, or comments on one of my videos, they're actually helping my channel. They clearly didn't listen because here are some more stupid comments. Some of them from the video in which I told them how commenting is helping me. Ah oh, well, at least I know the stupid is never going to run out. This week, according to Flurfs, I'm a potato-headed, ball-licking cunt. Stick around to find out why. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. Find the Find the Idiotic flurfs, the gift that just keeps on giving. Let's get straight into it. Flat earthers don't say we're living on a flat disc floating through space. That's what you ball girls say, except you say ball instead of disc, lol. There's no full stop anywhere there. Gary takes issue with the beginning of my intro, this bit. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Well, you're wrong, Gary, because you are assuming that all flat earthers believe the same thing. And I know that's not true. We've got some that think we're in a dome with waters above. We've got some that think we're on an infinite extended plane. We've got some that think we're on an earth that's moving upwards at 9.8 meters per second squared. But I know for a fact that there is at least one flat earther who believes we're on a disc in space because I debated him on the non sequitur show. Check the link above for the entire debate. Of course, Gary wasn't done there. By the way, Flat Earth Jesus kicked your guys' ass. S still no full stops anywhere. Here, Gary says that Flat Earth Jesus kicked my ass. Sandals. Having a, a saucy This ball. guy kicked my ass. Hmm. Well, how about you check out the Creaky Blinders new video on Flat Earth Jesus, my video on Flat Earth Jesus, my debate with Flat Earth Jesus on the non sequitur show, and Red's Rhetoric's debate with Flat Earth Jesus on a non sequitur show. After you've seen all of those, I'll let you decide who kicked whose ass. Spoiler alert, it wasn't the guy who thinks that giants dug the moon out of the Grand Canyon and that the sun is an interdimensional portal. Next up, Gaz Lee's back. After last week's astounding discovery of a dinosaur in his back garden, this week he tells us how he has cracked the secrets of the universe. I believe the universe is a giant bowl of soup and we are just one of the contents in it. Full stop, no capital. I'm going to go into town today and tell everyone about my discovery. That okay with you? I really don't think that Gary gets what science is or how the scientific method works. I think it's time for a trip to the remedial classroom. Right, everyone, before we start, hey, I'm talking. Mr. Thatcher, ice front. Before we start, I have the results of last week's test. You all failed. Every single one of you. At least most of you tried, but Mr. Riley, your test sheet had only your name and the date on. The date was incorrect and you misspelled your name. You all need to try harder. Why do I bother? Okay, please pay attention. The scientific method is the process by which actual science is carried out. The process involves making conjectures, hypotheses, deriving predictions from those logical consequences, and then carrying out experiments based on those predictions to determine whether the original conjecture was correct. Although the scientific method is usually presented as a fixed sequence of steps, they are better considered general principles, and not all steps are taken in every scientific endeavour, nor are they done in the same order. When forming a question in science, it can refer to a specific observation, for instance, why is that ship disappearing bottom up as it moves away? Or the question can be open-ended, like, how can I design a spaceship to take humans to Mars? This stage usually involves finding and evaluating evidence from previous experiments, personal scientific observations or assertions, as well as the work of other scientists. Right class, at home time, Mr. Riley, please stack the chairs and tidy the desks, and Mr. Thatcher, please clean the chalkboard, and this time, don't eat the chalk, please. So guys, you now have the steps to try and get your hypothesis up to a theory. Well, I would love to see your peer-reviewed evidence. I don't expect you to prove anything, because that's not what science does. Science doesn't prove things. I dare you to quote mind me on that. I dare you. Next, YouTuber IP gives us some great scientific arguments. You must be gay, fucking ball licker. Uh, oh, and flat earth in space, question mark, question mark, question mark. You are so stupid, no full stop. 
Another flirt that doesn't understand the tongue-in-cheek nature of my intro. But again, there is a flirt that thinks that we're on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Fight the flat earth? But the gay thing, I'd, I'd like your guy's opinion. Why is it that the flirts go to the personal attacks like that? Yeah, sure, I'll call someone an idiot when they say stupid things. But I'm not going to go around, and I don't think any other globe earthers would go around saying that they're gay or transgender or anything like that. I mean, I just don't understand it. No, there's nothing wrong with being gay or transgender, so I don't understand why you're trying to use that as an insult against me. Is it because you don't have any other way to argue? You can't argue with my science, so you just result to stupid arguments like that. Next up is this dumbass. Proof the globe, but without the stupid letters and numbers and logic, full stop, no capital, ye got nothing. Bloody hell, that's a mess. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to respond to that. You want me to proof the globe? I mean, I assume you mean prove, and science doesn't do that. We've already just covered that. I can present you with evidence, but I'm not allowed to use numbers or logic. Did you eat lead paint chips as a child or something? I'm going to have to get a translator for these comments if this carries on. Next up is another friend from last week. No Globe. Oh man, that name is just so clever. Another vid from Mr. Potato Head. You, son, are the dumb fucking cunt. Gravity! So, does my head look like a potato? Is that the best insult that people can come up with about the shape of my head? How about everyone in the comments try your best to give me a really good insult for the shape of my head? And Gravity... Is that the same as Dropity and the theory of down? And lastly, we've got the best comment from last week's video. You know, the one where I pointed out that Flurf's commenting on my videos helps me. Shut up, Quaid, you bore lord, sorry man, damned a moron, but mate, I think you're worse than him. For I twat, boring wanker, no, you should stop your shite videos, because they're absolute wank. You know when an argument is just so well put together that you just, you can't, you can't debate it, you can't refute it. I mean, I think that's done it. I, I think that comment's made me a flat earther. Yeah, right. Keep commenting, you idiots. You write my content for me. Well, that's all for today. What was your favourite comment? Did I miss any comments throughout the week? If you see any comments in my comments section that you like, please screenshot them and send them to me at Fight Flat. A massive thank you to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. And before I go, a massive shout out to Random Tings. This is the guy from the channel that has made my intro and my classroom animation. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. We're living on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. Fight the flat earth.